Hello ladies and gentlemen, Brett here, high altitude scale modeling with another spur review. Going to do a little bit of armor, not really armor, but you know, infantry. World War II, Soviet two-ton 6x4 truck and 76mm USV BR gun from Miniart. Miniart's been doing a lot of really cool things and I want to do a review on Miniart stuff at another time. For right now, let's look at this. Warnings. English, Russian, Ukrainian. Kid number 35272. I'm pretty sure it comes with the guy with the bucket, the guy climbing, climbing on the back of the truck. Don't know. It does come with the truck and the gun. Pretty heavy box. And one bag tightly packed with sprues, instructions, little envelope, empty box. Ah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, about fifteen sprues in here, give or take. All, like I said, held tightly together to avoid damage. Look at that, they all came out. Okay, we have one loose part. A box. It's a box. Besides, we don't lose it. Let us start with the truck cab and fenders. Good looking plastic, there's a bumper. Tiny detail parts on here. Mini Mart, Mini Art has been doing Mini Mart. Mini Art's been doing a lot of good detail on that. However, unless there's a lining in there, there's some ejector pin marks inside that roof. Sorry, hood or bonnet, depending on who you are, that you're gonna have to take care of. And then on inside the roof, there some more. So you may have to work on those. But the detail on this stuff, quite nice. Quite good. I don't know where to keep going. There's so many little screws in here. Along with the big screws. So, truck frame. And some wooden frame rails. And some really nice hosing and wiring. And You see those? Be careful. Those could be broken in a heartbeat. I think this is going to be my next armor build. Wow, I like how the wood grain's on both sides of those wood panels. The frame's got a little bit of curve to it, but it's molded in that way, so I'm thinking it's supposed to be that way. But here's what we're talking about. You see the wood grain on both sides with no ejector pin marks. And you see these tiny, thin, either wiring or piping. There's a frame. I don't know if this has an engine. But it has a removable hood, so I bet and it does. Look at how small these things are. I mean, just look. Look how tiny. Tiny little details. I don't see any burring on those parts, but they're so small. I don't know if they can have burring. Well, let's just keep going in the order that I pick them up. This has an engine. Woohoo! And vents for the side of the hood, which are open. Wow. And the hood looks hinged. It would go in there. The firewall. And then the canvas parts for the top. Okay, maybe you can make it with the top down. There's the windshield frame. There's the windshield frame. The fan belt, the blocks, the valve covers. Impressive. Now, I'm talking about here, those louvered doors. They're actually, there you go, open. You see the blue right through there. And you see the hinges on the hood sides and on the louvered parts. 
firewall, a nice canvas detail, there's your little engine, and these look like brake rotors. Wow. And next, looks like we have more framing and suspension parts. This looks all like gun parts to me. Like these are the frame rails for the gun. This is the hinged part. These are the controls to raise it. And there's the gear to raise it. Maybe the sighting mechanism. I don't know the gun all that well. So these look like parts to the gun, which again, highly detailed. Raised and recessed detail. I mean, those are some good raised rivets. They almost hurt. You know, you're looking at all this, and then you look at the teeth on this. Mini art's just up in the game for everybody. This is more gun parts, because there's a gun barrel, there's the gun shield. This is the main part of the gun barrel, and it's whole and hollow, slide molded. And those are slide molded. See, those are slide molded, that's why it's got that in there. And then there's the end of the barrel, one piece, slide molded. A um, little bit of burring, can you see, right there. And raised rivets on the shield. And then the main breech part of the gun. And look, there's the front, there's the back. No ejector pin marks to clean up because it's a whole fully visible part. All right, now we've got two sprues of matching suspension parts. So we'll look at one. Differential, because it is a 2x6, remember? Differential, leaf springs, some more wooden parts it looks like. And then just, this looks like a, a knapsack or a tent or a sleeping bag or a gun wrap. Look, leaf spring detail. Look at these parts. These parts are one piece, whatever they're for. You've got these. And you've got your differential. You've got these what I was talking about. That are knapsacks or sleeping bags or bed rolls or gun. Protective canvas for the guns to mount on the side. Here are three matching sprues which have the shells and the wooden box for the shells. And again, here's the shell box. No ejector pin marks on either side. The shells are one piece. These are spent shells and they're open. Open on the end. Slide molded. There's that box. Wooden box. Wood grain. Three of those. Uh, let's see. So I'm guessing it's got detailed interior because here's your doors. And the inside of your doors, no ejector pin marks. They're all pushed out by these parts here. So they put a lot of thought and time into the molds of these. This is the bed of your truck, which is again, wood grain all around. No ejector pin marks on either side of any of these parts. This is a box of some sort. And it does inside, but these two glue together. But, a beautiful wood grain. And the other side. No ejector pin marks. It's got a little mark here where I think the plastic came together. But primer and paint over and you won't be able to notice. So that's the truck bed. So we've got two of these. 
which are, I don't know, a bunch of parts, parts is parts, but these parts here, again, slide molded, hollowed out. So, two of those parts, and two of these, which are some more wood grain panels, which again have no ejector pin marks, just nice wood grain. Two of those. And three more of the shell and the boxes for a total of six. Six wooden crates of shells and spent shell casings. Um, that looks like it has wood grain on it. Not sure what it's for. And here's the two guys I was telling you about. There's the bucket with the lid. A little bit of flash on them. But I think I've seen these guys in a set where you can just buy the guys. But, you know, not bad figures. It's nice they put them in the kit. Especially since it's one of the buckets, you can make it look like he's filling the radiator. Clear parts, which are all flat, windshield, door windows, headlights, taillight. I'm not going to open it because they're perfectly smooth. Oh, look, decals. Not very many of those either. Print in the Ukraine. I can't read what the company name is, but they're printing in the Ukraine. But again, a little bit of decals because there's not a lot of decals on these. So we've got these are the wheels and these there are one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Now these are the wheels that you put together in layers. This is the inside, this is the outside, or the way around, and you stack them up. So there's no seam line and it makes it look like it has a tread pattern. Some love them, some hate them. I don't mind them because they look pretty authentic. You can't put any weight on them, but you bury this thing in the mud and it won't matter. And here's our little mini art envelope with two sheets of photo etch that I don't want to bend, so I need to be careful. One, two. A big one with a bunch of brackets. I'm assuming those are for the shells or the crates or for something like that. Very thin sheet. And it's covered with plastic on both sides to protect it. This looks like some engine parts and just various other little photo etch parts. And last, but definitely not least, we have the general instruction manual. I like that scheme, but it looks like a huge pain to do. So, there's your gun, assembled. There's your sprue map doesn't black anything out so I'm thinking you use everything and you're gonna start with the engine nice detailed little engine see all the nice detailed parts including an alternator a starter oil filler cap hoses then you're gonna do your frame FB 14 so those are FB those are the parts that were on here with the leaf springs. Those right there. Like I said, we're so fragile looking. Your transfer case, your differentials, your spring, your boxes, you're doing all your suspension work all together in your wheels. I would paint up all the suspension parts before I put the engine in for sure and weather and detail all that before I put the wheels on. You see, there's what I'm talking about. 
halves, thirds, fourths go together, and then the two outside parts with the hub in the middle. And there's more suspension parts. It's got a really detailed suspension. See, these are have to be careful taking off, like I told you, because they're part of the tie rods, it looks like. And the exhaust system. There's the wheels going on, which, like I said, do after the whole thing's painted. Because then you're putting on the fenders, putting on the floor pan, your gear shifts. That's a seat. That I was saying was canvas. It's not a top. It's a seat bottom and a seat back. Your windshield, which you're going to want to mask off. And then your parts going on there, your brake cylinder, or whatever other parts you have on your firewall. And one windshield wiper, of course, with an actual windshield wiper motor. How cool is that? There's your instrument panel. And there's your cab going together on top of the truck. Again, masking off the window. Now you can paint the top of the truck separately. Because as you see, the wheels are going to be a different color. So you can paint all this separately and mask off the bottom. Interesting to see. There's the door panels and the windows going in, the door handles, it's got door handles. There's your latches and your grab handles to open the hood. Doors going on, bracing going on. I'm not sure what that is, it looks like a horn. Like it's got an air horn on it. If you're going to have them open, you've got to fold them back like that, remember that. Go look up old Model T's and stuff, how the hood's open. You know, they open, they were hinged, they went together when they were open. There's the bracing for the bed, there's all the bed going on. I'd do that separate too, just so I could get the wood grain effect in there. Spare tires. There's all your ammo boxes being loaded into the back. There's putting your ammo boxes together. Um, all that PE that I thought went for the weapons. It doesn't go for the weapons, it folds up. And it's like tracks for the wheels, or on the side. I guess if you do a winter scene, you need the tracks on the wheels, and if you don't, you hang it on the side. Ingenious. And that's the truck. Pretty well done. This is showing how to connect the truck to the gun. And here's putting your gun together. The gun in the stowed position. The gun in the fighting position, so you need to decide which is which. Gun in stowed, gun in fighting. And more gun parts. And the wheels are going to go together the same. There's the breech we talked about, the barrel. More PE. Big old gun barrel and the breech going on there. And finishing it off and painting it all at once. And there's your guide for painting your shells. And your storage boxes with the decals. And painting your men. There's your color call-out chart. Vallejo, Mr. Color, Life Color, Tammy, Testers, AK, Real Color, Humber, Royal Mission Models. And the actual names of the colors. Two schemes. Winter camouflage scheme with that interesting netting design. Paint the whole thing white. Tape off the green areas. Put some masking down. Paint it up. Or just your basic red army green. And there you have it. What a detailed looking little kit. Be happy to have it in your collection. It's going to take some time to build it and I'm looking forward to it. This is good diorama fodder. I'm ready. Are you? Sit down and do it. Ass. Seat. Bye bye.